Hi, I'm Amber, i.e. The Japanese House, and you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to our interview with The Japanese House. Hello. Hi, how's it going? Good, how have you been? So you're supposed to ask me that, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been good. Um, been on tour since January now. Yeah. So, yeah, I've already eased into it. <laughs> You're now on the road with the 1975 and Wolf Alice, so how yeah. are these shows going? They're really fun. Um, yeah, it's bit, the Wolf Alice joined us about a month ago, and we're sharing a bus with them, so that's really fun. We weren't on a bus before, we were just like, in hotels and like flying everywhere, which is really annoying, because I hate flying. Oh, okay. But now I get to go on the, on the bus with them, so that's pretty fun. Do you and find it easier going from hotel to hotel, or kind of just having a little home for a little bit on the bus? Um, I'm not really sure. At first, I was really happy about the bus. Like, I was really excited about the bus. But now, I kind of hate the bus, just because it's so... <laughs> like, all my clothes are in my bunk, so I've got, like, half a bunk to sleep in. And I just sleep in my clothes. It's really... Like, in all... Like, a pile of my clothes. <laughs> but it's still fun. Well, since you've been on yeah. the road for so long, has there been sort of a standout moment, or has there been a cooler moment that you'll remember for a long time? Um... I'd say the highlight for me was probably we played this festival. I can't remember what it's called now. Oh, that's really <laughs> bad. In Atlanta, and um, it was like the first headline show we'd done for ages. And I turned up. I like looked, peeked through out um, that half an hour before we went on. There were like 20 people there, and I was so happy that there were even 20 people. And then when we actually played, it was like full. Like it was like three, 200, 300 people that just turned up for our show. So that was quite overwhelming. I actually had a little cry after that show. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> Emotional, I guess, just saying, yeah. like, hey, people came out. I was, I mean, I was quite hungover, so that could have been part <laughs> of it. But I think it was over overwhelming. Well, last year but. you dropped two EPs, Clean and Pool to Bathe In. Yeah. Yeah, so any mm -hmm. tracks you digging playing the most at the moment? Um, ooh. I really like playing still at the moment because I kind of, it's, um, I don't really play guitar in that song so I decided to just walk around with the microphone because I thought you've got to do that at least once in your life and um, at first I kind of just stood really weirdly but now I kind of have a little boogie annoy my bandmates so that's probably <laughs> all I, I like playing clean clean's fun to play because it's the first one and I don't know people dance about <laughs> Oh, yeah. and Chuck, I kind of want to know that the story behind is teeth. I just love how you end the first verse with the line, I could be anything. It's so pretty. Oh, thank you. Just tell me a little bit about this, the track. Um, that song is about... <laughs> it's about um, someone who I was seeing, who I'm actually now living with, but at the time I didn't think that was going to happen. I thought it was going to be like a very brief affair. And it was just about that, really. Uh, what... But loving someone and not thinking that they love you back. But now they do. But now they ah. do. Joke's on you. Yeah. <laughs> but um, probably shouldn't tell them that. Don't want them getting too big-headed. That's about them. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, that was, I was very, very emotional time when I wrote that song. Yeah. And you're now working on new material. <laughs> yeah. Which is pretty exciting. So how's that coming along? Um, so, yeah, really good. It's, like, weird because you kind of have to... Yeah, I basically just spend a lot of time on my laptop. But at the moment, I don't have a microphone with me, so I'm using my Apple headphone mic oh, okay. to do all my vocals, which is quite funny. Um, but actually, I'm, I'm a fan of the Apple headphone mic. But um, yeah, and then when I get back in a week, I've got, I, yeah, I'll be going into the studio and just like doing a lot of, doing a lot of recording, I think. So yeah, there's going to be two more EPs. Oh, before a record. Yeah. I love the fact that we're doing this interview in front of water because so many yeah, of your tracks... Yeah, this is actually my boat. Uh, <laughs> that's <laughs> pools to bathe in. Pool, no. so many of Imagine your... if I've got a boat. That <laughs> so many of your tracks are inspired by water. Yeah. So, and I know you're I fa through a lot of your feed, you have a lot of nature and a lot of really pretty photographs. So how Thank much you. are you actually inspired by nature? Um, I wouldn't say I was consciously inspired by nature, but I think, you know... It all like seeps in. Um, I definitely like. Yeah, I guess. I guess there are quite a lot of nature pics. <laughs> Maybe I'm <laughs> a nature girl. Um, but yeah, I think I don't, with the water thing, like, I have no idea why. Maybe just because it rains a lot where I'm from. Maybe that's why I write about water all the time. But it's quite easy to write about 
you know I don't know is it I don't know <laughs> but yeah I don't really have an answer for why that kind of pops up all the time mm-hmm. it starts just starts it's within me <laughs> you before shared how you find it really hard to obsess over just you know a soul record so rather than talking about albums who are some artists that you're really digging lately um Nikki and the Dove the, have you listened to that no got, like, their latest albums like it's like Kate Bush had a baby with Stevie Nicks. Okay. That's how good it is. Sounds like my kind of thing. I think they must think I'm such a freak because I just <laughs> literally every Instagram I'm just like, you have to listen to this. Um, but they're so good. Yeah, they're amazing. Um, the Big Moon. Oh, nice. Are great. And also just great gals. Love them. Um, who else? I'm really bad. James Blake's new album's really great. Um, that song, I'll Meet You in the Maze, is the best song I've heard for a while. What else have I been listening to? That I can't remember that anymore. Co- that covers it. <laughs> yeah, that's a few. <laughs> well, something I really enjoy asking artists, because I always find the answers to be so different, is do you ghoul yourself ever? And if so, what's the last yeah. thing you say? You do? Yeah. Okay, amazing. <laughs> um, I mainly Google myself to see if there's a, well, if I Google myself, there's a picture of a different girl, and I don't know who she is, that comes up. And that's, I mainly just Google myself, one, to see if, uh, I've got a Wikipedia page because that's a dream of mine to see if that picture's still there and it still is <laughs> have you found out know, who this person is? No, I don't know who she is but she's a lot better looking than me so she can <laughs> that, if people think that I'm her that's fine um, yeah I once made made a Wikipedia page did for you? got taken down did it? I think Aww. it's because I said I was a part time lawyer <laughs> full time winner <laughs> which is own, it's half true um <laughs> But yeah, no, I gave myself a lot. And the Twitter feed. Yeah. I'm obsessed. It's addictive. I like that, though. Yeah. I'm not ashamed to admit it. <laughs> well, to wrap everything up today, is there anything you want to say to all of your fans who are going to be viewing the interview? Um, ooh, ooh. I've never even thought about what I could... Uh, thanks. That's obviously... Thank you for listening to my music. And... Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, I don't know them so I'd ask them how are you but you know I don't know how, I don't know them I don't know what I'm saying I'm really <laughs> awkward now I cut this bit out <laughs> um oh yeah that's all I have to say really thanks and hope you get to catch a show sometime I have my one Ooh. and I just want to say thanks so much for your time today yeah thank you thanks for the interview my pleasure and remember to everyone viewing you can visit us at musicblogyeah.com for exclusive interviews features videos and so much more with your favorite artists we'll see you next time Bye.